Hey guys, I'm going to be going over some general tax information as well as information of things that you can write off to make sure you are maximizing your tax deductions. Our goal, of course, is not to pay that much back in taxes. So some of these things will help you make sure you are getting your maximum tax deductions. Now, I am a no tax professional. Always make sure to do your own research. Reach out to a tax professional for advice on your specific tax situation. That way you're always getting the correct information based on your own situation. Now, if you made over $600 with any of the apps, you will be receiving a 1099 either through mail or email. Now, I always opt in to have my 1099 sent to me electronically through email because the mail, the mail system, I just don't trust. I've had too many things lost in the mail or delayed. I'd rather have a peace of mind having it come straight to my inbox. So I just go into each platform and opt in to have my 1099 sent to me electronically. Now, as many of you guys know, taxes are not withheld from our earnings. That is our responsibility. Now, at the end of the video, I'll share an app that can help with estimated taxes as well as just help you in general prepare for tax season. The first big deduction is mileage. You need to be sure to be tracking your mileage when you come out to do gig work. So anytime I'm out and about doing gig work, I am tracking my miles. I want to make sure that this is written off of my taxes because we are driving our vehicles a lot and we want to make sure we are maximizing our tax deductions. And this is one of the big ones. One thing that seems to be confusing for a lot of people is whether or not they can write off gas and mileage, but the answer is no. You can either choose the standard mileage rate or the the actual car expense method, but you cannot do both. You have to choose one over the other. The standard mileage deduction lets you deduct a fixed amount per mile and is supposed to take into account gas and other vehicle expenses. Now the actual expense method, you would need to keep track of gas and other vehicle expenses and figure out what percentage was used for business use. Now for me, I've personally always done the standard mileage deduction. I do work with a tax account every year and based on my particular situation the standard mileage deduction is where I'm gonna get the biggest tax write-off now of course in some people's situations the actual expense method might benefit you more in getting higher tax deductions of course everybody's tax situation is gonna be different so of course if you're not sure do reach out to a tax professional they are the one that can probably look at your situation and give you advice from there now phone service is another deduction. As you guys know, we're constantly on our phones running these gig apps. So we do get a write off a percentage that is used for business use. So for example, if I use 50% of my phone for business use and the other 50% is for personal use, I will only be able to write off 50% um, for the business use of running these gig apps. Some other tax deductions that are commonly missed are anything that helps you get the job done when you're out here working these gig apps. Anything from a phone holder to hold your phone while you're doing the gig apps to hot bags or maybe you ended up purchasing one of the nice carts to haul groceries for Spark or Instacart. Those are things that you can write off. Those are things that you're using for business use. Other things would be like subscriptions. Maybe you have a subscription to an app to help you track your miles. That type of stuff are tax deductions. So you want to make sure to keep track of those things throughout the year if you purchase anything to help you get the job done. Another tax deduction would be tolls or parking when you're doing gig work, maybe you're on the way to drop off an order to a customer and you have to go through a toll, or maybe you're downtown and you have to pay for parking to pick up a customer's order from a restaurant. These are things that you can write off. Now, what you can't write off is if you get a speeding ticket while you're on a delivery, or maybe you're picking up from a restaurant downtown and you get a parking ticket. Those things you cannot write off, unfortunately, but anything that that you pay out of pocket for parking or tolls you can write off. Now, the best way to make sure that you are maximizing all of your tax deductions because you have to keep track of all of this stuff 
for the year, whatever year it is. And right now um, we're going to be filing taxes for 2022, but you need some sort of system. Like I said, if you purchase a phone holder or hot bags, you want to make sure you are writing that off as well as your mileage, anything that you're using for business use. You need some sort of a system. There is an app called Solo that gives you a peace of mind that will help you keep track of all of this stuff. So when it comes to tax time, you have all of that right there and it's easy for you to file taxes. You're not having to go and dig around or, you know, did I purchase something, you know, this year for getting the work done, that type of stuff. That way you have it all right there. The link for Solo is down in the description. If you do use my link, you do get a $10 sign up bonus as well as a free trial to test it out. It's a great app for us gig workers, it keeps track of our earnings, helps us maximize our earnings, helps us with estimated taxes, tracking miles, and in some areas they do offer guaranteed earnings. So it's definitely worth checking out. I do hope that some of these tips helped you guys out. If you found this video helpful, please give the video a like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future videos, and I will be seeing you guys on the next one. Bye guys.